And today our guests are Dr. Henry LaBranche, who is the Salem School District's superintendent, and Michael Delahanty, who is now the assistant uh, uh, superintendent. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you just recently got that post, and uh, we'll be talking about that in a minute. If you don't mind, uh, Dr. LaBranch, do you mind if we talk just for a second? Yep, be my guess do, you, do you have any indication of who will be the principal of the Salem High School well, and we when are, it would take place? Right now we're right in the uh, middle of the process yep. uh, of uh, securing a replacement for Michael. Um, there's a committee that's been established. The committee has representation from the school faculty, from the high school's administration. We have a uh, young lady who will be a senior uh, at Salem High School who has joined us on this selection committee. Uh, we also have a support staff uh, person uh, involved, and we have two parents uh, who are participating along with us. Uh, today we started the interview process, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. We will conclude uh, tomorrow with our first round of uh, interviews. And, uh, We'll give due consideration to the candidates and see where we are in terms of making further recommendations uh, to the school board. We hope that um, that the process proves fruitful enough that we'll be able to recommend one or more candidates for the board's consideration in, within the next uh, 14 days. What do you think of the appointment of Michael Delahanty? Well, Michael uh, and I ob obviously have known each other for some time. Our affiliation is uh, my entire tenure here in the Salem School District, which is, um, I'm in my 14th year. And obviously I have a great deal of confidence in this young man, uh, given his promotion at one time from the North Salem School uh, to the Woodbury School and ultimately to the high school. So um, I'm excited and, and eager to have Michael on board with us because he gives us that perspective of all three levels. And as the instructional leader in the school, um, uh, that experience will be invaluable to him as he's working with principals and other people who are responsible for curriculum development and assessment. Very good. And you don't mind if I call you Mike, right? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> okay. Fine. I want to ask right up front here. Uh, what do you think of your appointment? Uh, you must have some uh, plans for the future here and uh, what you can do and what you're looking forward to doing. Yeah, well, I think that, uh, uh, first of all, I'm excited about the opportunity um, to uh, have uh, an impact on the more uh, broad uh, school community. And as uh, Dr. LeBranch mentioned, working with elementary school, middle school, and high school administrators and teachers on curriculum and instruction is is an exciting um, exciting opportunity um, and secondly for me the opportunity to work with uh, Dr. LaBranch um, more closely uh, more intimately in the day-to-day -day activities of the running of the school district uh, will be an invaluable experience uh, for me and uh, and one that I just couldn't pass up um, it, it's sort of like a, a, a real uh, real-life classroom for me um, and I'm looking forward to that opportunity. What will you miss the most? Um, well, without question, uh, I'll miss the uh, daily contact with the students. Um, I've um, gone from being their teacher um, when I was a teacher, and um, I first uh, when I when I had my first classroom, and uh, I lost them at the end of the year mm. to their promotion to the next grade level. Um, I was surprised the following year when um, they didn't come to me with problems. Yeah. I had a new group of students, and those were the students who came to me <laughs> with problems. Um, so I, I knew that my, my impact on them um, was for uh, primarily that one year, and any lessons that I taught them that they could take with them um, was uh, something that I could uh, uh, be grateful for. But I first got into administration uh, because I thought I could have a broader impact on a school instead of just a classroom. Mm -hmm. um, but just like I missed that first group of students um, and them coming to me on a regular basis, I missed the daily contact with the students in the classroom when I first became a full-time administrator. And now I'm coming uh, further removed from students and uh, um, I need to find a way uh, to maintain some contact because that's really where I um, find um, a lot of uh, a lot of reward for me personally I, I enjoy the, the students very much and I'll miss them 